It's been almost 20 years since a racially motivated crime in Jasper County jolted the world with its brutality. Three white men chained up James Bird Jr's ankles to the bumper of a pickup truck, then dragged him to his death. The motive? Because he was black. In a special report tonight, KFDM's Angel San Juan shows us how a horrific act of racism brought a community together. Angel, go back a few years. This was your first assignment at KFDM. It was, Greg. I had only been here at the station three months when I was sent to cover this tragedy. Hard to believe it's been 20 years. In fact, I'm now 49, James Bird Jr.'s age, when he was killed. You're about to hear from three people who endured those tough, trying times and who say the lessons they learned back then are relevant today. An isolated road in Jasper County Nobody, nobody deserves the type of death that he had. 20 years ago, the scene of a horrific crime. I just cannot imagine what was going through his mind. The torture and dragging death of James Bird Jr. Three miles down that road. What investigators called a modern day lynching with a chain instead of a rope and a pickup truck. This is just so far over my head, I can't even comprehend it. Billy Rolls is the Newton County Sheriff. It's a, it's a serious crime. On June 7, 1998, he was Jasper County's top law enforcement officer. That's the day three white men chained Bird to the back of that pickup truck and dragged his body down Huff Creek Road three miles until he struck a culvert and tore apart. Roll says there's only one reason the men targeted Bird. We knew he was murdered because he was black. And uh, those are some of the hard things to look at camera and eye and say. Black power! They don't protect black folks in Jasper like this. The crime ignited a national debate about racism in the modern era. But we must have our God and our guns. No. Authorities are facing their greatest challenge controlling the situation now. I'm just glad it's over and I'm glad it's 20 years later. Fast forward two decades, the painful memories don't fade. It's all about love. Betty Boatner still misses her brother. If he was here, he'd say, well, I told you one day I'm gonna be on, I'm gonna be on the world map somewhere, but we had no idea it was coming this way. Bird achieved in death what he always wanted in life, to become world famous. His racially motivated killing attracted international attention. Mr. King, you have any comment? And Sheriff Rolls surprised the media through his transparency, releasing all the disturbing details of a crime that shocked the nation and the globe. Because up until then, we were still treated as being the pot-bellied, beer-drinking, snuff-dipping, East Texas, bigoted uh, police, you know. And I think that when, when we released that probable cause, without having to be ordered to release it. I think that showed that we were going to be transparent and we were going to do the right thing. The sheriff and his team quickly made three arrests, John William King, Lawrence Russell Brewer, and Sean Allen Berry, and charged them with capital murder. You can see the devil in their eyes, not normal people. Uh, I mean, the real part of them came out like a caged animal. But Bird's sister doesn't hate them. I forgave them a long, long, long time ago. A long, long time ago. Forgiveness she learned from her parents, James Sr. and Stella. Stella is reunited with her son, her grave just inches away from his. James Sr., 93, and living with his daughter. But when I heard my mother and father say that I'm hurt, tears in their eyes, but I forgive them, that day, I understood what forgiveness was really all about. I think this whole country could learn from what Jasper went through during that time by having tolerance and patience and uh, respect. While the birds brought healing to Jasper, Sheriff Rolls says jurors gave the family justice. It was tough on every one of them, and they, you know what they did? They stepped up to the plate, followed the law, and did what they had to do. We knew the whole world was watching. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of the offense of capital murder. Laquita Flowers served on the jury in King's trial. And I'm quite certain after 20 years that we absolutely made the right choice. This was an evil man and would have kept doing bad things. And um, 
and I was glad that we were able to give justice to the to the Bird family. A jury convicted King and decided he should die for the crime. He remains on death row. Brewer was executed. Barry received a life sentence. Flowers, a history teacher, shares the experience with her students. Talk to them about how hate can be so destructive and even evolve into evil. A tragedy that taught many positive lessons about justice. Uh, there is a system that we have in place to take care of and deal with uh, violent, bad people. About love. When you start hating it, it starts a whole lot of other problems. And so that's why I try to teach my grandchildren about love. Love is stronger than hate. About faith. The good Lord, I'm telling you, walked us through that. Took us by the hand and walked us through it. And about good prevailing over evil. The reason it went as good as it did is because we did the right thing. And although James Byrd Jr.'s life ended before he even reached 50, his legacy will last long. Hate crime laws passed here in Texas and federally are named after Byrd. There's also the James Byrd Foundation for Racial Healing, offering diversity workshops and student scholarships. And in his hometown of Jasper, the city built the James Byrd Jr. Memorial Park. Angel San Juan, 6 News Tonight.